We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Oakland A's and the Chicago White Sox. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Now at the plate, Gerald Hayden watches fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. It's really hard to put together one of those monumental seasons. This guy's got a shot at the triple crown, hitting well over 300 in his last 10 games. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Hayden is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss well, any of his at-bats. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, d -Row, this is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. When you're struggling like this team is right now, the game's get... Oh, this one's smoked on, go, the other go. way, high and deep to left. Unbelievable! A home run! I don't believe what I just saw! I don't believe what I just saw! So a three-run blast is straight away left, and that's home run number 48 on the year. And the A's lead it now three to nothing. Well, Dero, you know they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former... All set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Gerald Hayden. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back on it is the left fielder. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And with that, we take a look at the A's leaders in that category. And sure enough, his name is right there at the top. Now at the plate, Mariano Valentine. The right fielder, number eight. Mariano Valentine. The 1-1 home. Heading out towards shallow right. All right, get halfway, get halfway here. Kaneko has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now batting, Troy bat. Vogel as the, the switch hitter thing. will take his cuts left-handed here. The 2-2. Two -two. And he popped him up. On, Gaudio up. onto the grass. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they won't risk it at third, so no. they're at the corners it's now it. with only one away. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits, and that's exactly what that was. Soft liner into left field. Nice job. Now in the box, now Aaron Hara. Designated hitter. Aaron. For yours now, ball the three and one pitch. And nope. this misses ball for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Striding in once again, now Vladimir back. Murillo. Hayden Vladimir. at third, Vogel Murillo. at second, Para at first, oh, one gone. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Coming to the plate now, Nathaniel Clemens. Now the catcher. Nathaniel Clemens. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Oh, but it's off line, so the run will score. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. 
Dan, from a pitcher standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden you give up that big base hit that drives in two. Frustrating for a pitcher. So coming to the plate, Gerald Hayden. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Fourth inning here, already a 5-2 to two score. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's a two-run shot to straight away left, his second of the game, and the lead is now 7-2. to two. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Standing in, Gerald Hayden and their runners at the corners now. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Nope. Ball one. Ball one. Nice leave. Nice leave. Counts one and zero. Oh. They see it. Drive it. Let's go. The one zero. Oh. Misses. Ball oh, two. Inside. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The two zero. Oh. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch, and it's fouled away. Hey, have a rip at it up there, huh? He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. We got 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three -two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Throw over to the bag, runner back standing. Popped him up. Goldberg has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Have to settle. Gerald Hayden will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Hey, see it, drive it. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. One dig, go hard. Go two, two, two. He pulls into second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Mariano Valentine. He flew out in his last at bat. Soft liner towards short. Find the ball, find the ball, find the ball. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the A's 10 and the White Sox 2. Up next for Chicago, Vincent Tao. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we Vincent move into the later innings. Tau. Down by, oh, it's one time one. to get some base runners and hopefully a lot get them back into this one. And that's oh. out number one. Oh. 
Striding on, in man. and working on a terrific right. performance in this one, Gerald Hayden. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five hit performance here. Hey, your pitch, your pitch right here. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a get drive up, sent up. out toward the gap. And that one is gone! So a three-run shot to left center, his third home run of the ball game, as this lead got even wider. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the base. Into the box now, Alexis Velasmo. Eighth batter of the Alexis. inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Hey, come on now. Ground ball to third. Reined in. Throw on to first will be in time to take care of him. And the A's have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win. And that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 14 to six is the way this one ends. Oakland jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jackson Rutledge earned his ninth win of the year. Colt Kendall worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.